Okay. Hi there, welcome to Drawing with Code with me, Edward Martin. Um, I'm, um, 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 you know what, I don't really like how this is going. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. Hi there, welcome to Drawing with Code with me, Edward Martin. Today I will be running a video tutorial to teach people how to do basics with code. This was originally going to be a workshop in our bike gallery, but unfortunately with all the circumstances that are going on right now... This is the best way that I thought we could, I don't know, still do the workshop. This series is going to be kind of like a mini tutorial series with, I think, about three episodes um, broken down into three different sections. The first episode will be the introduction where I just kind of talk about me, me, like what we'll be kind of doing and what sort of like coding editor we'll be using to do the code. The second one is the basics, so we'll start getting into more of like the actual lingo and the language lingo the language to do with actual coding so like what it all means and stuff then in the third episode we'll actually get around to using it and i'll actually teach you how to code some of the drawings and create some little farm animals like um pigs and cats and i don't know maybe something else maybe a dog who knows who am i i am edward martin like i've said already i am 22 years old i am a student slash artist studying a ba drawing degree with creative computing at campbell college of art i'm based in london i do a lot of stuff i think i do a lot of like 3d animation stuff like i'll probably show some of the the weird stuff that i get up to recently i've been doing a lot more of like the um it called augmented reality so i've been coding some cool augmented reality stuff yeah just kind of like oh my god that's a sorry there's a squirrel that's just ran past my no it's not getting distracted so i guess I'm gonna jump right into it so what is code so some people may not know exactly what code is they've kind of heard about it sometimes it's a little bit scary <laughs> Yeah, scary. Code is the, the the thing that basically create like um wow. Maybe I should have thought about this a little bit more. See, I'm telling you, I have the mind of a master master I have the mind of a mastermind. What's that? I don't know, but you know, I'm so creative like that. Code is the language that your computer understands and people write it to make everything run. Um Excuse me. Yeah, code makes everything run. So everything from your laptop to your mic to your to your phone, everything like is, has got code in it. Okay, maybe I should just show you some stuff that, that does code. So there's some pretty cool, yeah. Some pretty cool examples that I found with um, more graphic based stuff for code, which I think is really, really cool. I think the world is kind of your oyster when it comes to code. Um, you can do anything if you learn and know how to do it. And that's the whole point of these workshops is to kind of like teach you the basics. You can go on and start learning and hopefully develop a no real big interest in code. You will you become, become interested, interested in code. During this workshop, we will be learning to code on the editor P5JS, which is created by this amazing woman called Laura McCarthy. So it's a online code editor. So the editor is something that you type your code out in. And what's so great about P5 is that you've got the one hand, which side would it be? This side. Um, wait, no, is it reversed? This side, you write your code and then directly opposite, it will show you that code automatically. I think the language is a lot easier using JavaScript. JavaScript is something that it basically codes uh, the internet. The internet is what it uses JavaScript. So it's really readily accessible if you've got something like a laptop. So basically all you'll need for this workshop is a laptop. You are able to use like something like a tablet. Um, I wouldn't recommend using a, a phone just because the, the screen's too small. So that. I think kind of the basics, yeah. So in the next episode, we will be learning all about the, the structure of the code. I'll actually be teaching you some of the, the syntax and the language to understand it a lot more, which will be really, really exciting. I can't wait for it. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>